Okay, let me explain this net present value problem. Okay, this image right here was prepared by a student. And it shows a net present value example of having a car financed. And let me explain how I look at this. Okay, I think we have a purchase price of $35,744.32. And then we have monthly payments that go on for 84 months or 7 years. And I believe this $6,405.60 represents... 12 monthly payments so that an NPV was calculated on an annual basis. And if you do it this way, we've got an outflow of 35744 assuming you paid cash, versus what you would give up. You know, the savings is you don't have to spend 6405 a year for seven years. If we use an interest rate of 6.59%, what we see is that the net present value of this car purchase is negative $723. So what this tells us is if that's the rate we got and that's the true value of the car, we would be worse off by paying cash up front. We would be better off by taking the car, making the payments, to the tune of $723.71. Now you could reverse these numbers, make that positive and all of these negatives, and this number would become positive. Okay? Okay, now I just did that. What I did is I made this number positive here, and these numbers negative, and what is it telling us? It's saying that we can save 3574432 by making these outflows and we'd be better off doing that we our wealth would be increased by $723.71 okay so now i put those numbers back to how they were so that my work matches the students work now let me take this one step further if we were really making monthly payments, why not do the analysis on a monthly basis? And here's what we would do. We know the purchase price is still $35,744.32. Now the monthly payment will take that 6405.60 and divide it by 12. And by the way, I should probably put those to, into cents so that you can see it matches. So our monthly payment is $533.80, and our payments go on for 84 months. So if I slide on down, we get to the bottom, and you see we'll still use the same rate, except now we have to divide that rate by 12. So we're using a monthly rate. And then we calculate NPV the same way, right? Use the, that rate given in cell, what is that, N92. 91, right? And then the NPV formula will say what's the cash flow beginning in the first period, and that was given in cell N6. It runs through cell N89. And then we have to add in the initial cash outflow. So if I take this away, that is just the present value of all those savings, right? We're assuming we're going to be saving the money by paying the cash up front. And now you could hit the NPV formula, you could call it up, so you could follow the logic. Okay, there's the rate and that, it comes up with 35, you know, 35,842. But that's only the present value of uh, all those cash flows from period one to 84. You have to remember to add in what it originally cost you. That's, I'm sliding up here, is in given in that cell right there. So if I've done this correctly, when I hit enter, we come back with the new more accurate net present value, which is slightly different. It's $97.91 favorable. So on a monthly basis, what we see 
is we'd actually be better off paying the cash up front because the present value of the payments works to our favor by a very small amount, 97 and 91 cents. Okay, so that's my explanation of uh, how we work with net present value given this particular situation.